Hey, it's Jeff again. I uh, just had a viewer request to go back across the nutrients that I mentioned the other, in a different video. Um, this is Vega One, and I highly recommend this all-in-one nutritional shake. It has protein in it, but it's not derived from soy or milk proteins or anything like that. It has C protein. Uh, it has Pea protein, flaxseed, cocoa powder, uh, pea starch, organic, acai gum, natural flavor, hemp protein, sach sachet, intra, inchi protein, organic, gelatinized maca root, organic broccoli, organic spirulina, organic kale, organic marine algae, dried fruit and vegetable blend. Spinach, broccoli, carrot, beet, tomato, apple, cranberry, orange, cherry, blueberry, strawberry, mushroom, chlorella, vulgaris, papain, citric acid, beetroot, stevia, leaf extract for a little sweetness, probiotics, uh, dried antioxidant fruit blend, grapes, which is grape seed extract, organic pomegranate, acai, Mangosteen, organic goji, organic maki. Uh, it's manufactured in a facility that also processes peanut, dairy, soy, egg, and tree nuts in case you have allergies. This one is uh, detox that I like. Uh, also has many good things in it. Has more grasses in it. It has. Organic amazing grass, oh, organic wheatgrass, organic barley grass, organic alfalfa. It has an alkalizing blend of organic spinach, organic rockweed, organic kale, organic broccoli, organic coconut water, organic leeks, asparagus stem, parsley leaf, garlic, organic spirulina, organic beetroot, organic carrot, organic dandelion root, apple, pectin, organic ginger root, organic lemon peel, organic fennel seed, organic turmeric root, organic extract, uh, oops, organic uh, aloe vera, organic cayenne pepper, and organic goji. And for the digestion, it has Digestive enzymes and active culture prebiotic blend of FOS, which is fructoligosaccharide from chicory root, and probiotic enzyme blend from or Lactobacillus acidophilus protease. Uh, it has protease, which is S. Bergillus orzile, amylase, amylase, lipase, lactase, and cellase. Good stuff. I highly recommend finding some trace minerals because most of the vegetables, mainly widespread produced, don't have any of the 72 extra minerals added and they just use the main three which is like nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium which is all they're mandatorily in this dang country have to have in the in the soils there so this is plant based minerals and they've been ionized and then for the brain you got all your vitamin B3 all your vitamin B's this is brain fuel from Tropic Oasis And it has all the vitamin B's. I don't know if you can see that. I'm not going to read this stuff off. You can look it up. I bought these off Amazon. And then my adult multivitamin. Um, the only thing I don't like about this one is the vitamin A is not from... Uh, I forget the name of it, but it's not the highest vitamin A, like this one, let's see. That oh, doesn't say on this one. Anyways, 
if you take all this stuff like I do, you have to make sure that you don't overdo it because vitamin A will hurt your liver. And I don't take the full recommended amounts of the liquid ones. I just take like maybe a third or a half. I, I take them mostly every day, but some days I skip it because I don't know. Too much vitamins and minerals is bad for you. Also, I use these two in concert for uh, cellular power. Every every cell in your body has pumps that needs uh, minerals. These two go together. And especially if you're adding all this together, you can't take the full doses. I, I don't take these hardly at all anymore. These two go together. Um, a lot of people probably wouldn't recommend those because they, they're salt based, but they're ionized and uh, your body needs a lot of salt anyway. So I just, like I said, in moderation, I feel like it's fine. Um, if you have any knowledge of why it's not fine, let me know. Appreciate you guys. Have a good night. Bye.